Now I'm kind of doing this review the wrong way round because I should have done an out of box video of this scope first, but uh, I just chucked it on a rifle and went down the range and just shot and got good results to be fair from this Discovery Optics scope. Dare I say a budget scope? Mm, well, it's certainly not mega bucks. It's under £500 here in the UK for a monster scope. Look at that thing. Look at the turrets on it. Huge. Now I've been sent this thing to test out and I thought, oh, do you know what? Shall I drop it on a few air rifles and see how it goes? No, I'm going to drop it straight on a 308 with a big beefy break just to see how this scope holds up. Let's just test it and get it bouncing around. And you know what? I'm suitably impressed. Now, before I sort of show you a target and, you know, talk about how it got on, let's show you the box, okay? So this is the Discovery Optics scope with the ED glass. And the spec of this scope is, oh, I've got to read it. It is five to 25 by 56. This is a big, chunky scope, okay? It is in MRAD. And do you know what? It makes no odds to me whether they're in MRAD or MOA. I just, I just dial in. I'm that used to them now, it, whatever, I'm, I'm easy. Now this is the box and what you get in the box. And I was sent this and I thought, oh, okay, pretty cool. And there's quite a funny story behind this actually before I sort of dive into uh, sort of looking what's in the box. Now, the property where I live, down there's, I've got two gates to the property, okay? And good old UPS must have threw this, the box that this came in over one of the gates, one of the gates that I don't go around very often. And it, I think it was there for a good few days because I happened to sort of just walk around there, just sort of checking on the property as you do. And I was like, oh, what's that box on the floor? Picked it up, a scope shaped cardboard box, picked it up and all water running out of it because it had been raining. I opened it up and yes, lo and behold, this was in, but fortunately this box was nice and dry. So it's it's already been tested with a drop test. It's been thrown over an eight foot gate and it's been out in the elements. So, so far so good. But this is what you get in the box, okay? So obviously you get the scope. It comes with its own mounts, which I think is fantastic. But let's show the paperwork first comes wrapped up in that decent packaging a decent foam uh, box you know that that is better quality than a lot of scopes double the money first of all i've got to say that so first of all you get um this bit of a spec sheet which is called which i'm going to use in a minute you get a quality control sheet which has been stamped so I like that. That's a nice sort of attention to detail there. A larger one there. It's all been sort of signed off. So that's really good. Cleaning cloth. And you get your in instructions here. Pretty well written. Colour. Decent quality instruction manual there. Tells you all your, you know, all your usual stuff. So that's good. And then you get a sunshade as well. And like I said, you get decent mounts. Picatinny mounts. And they even tell you what they have to be talked up to. I don't know if you can see that. How cool is that? I love that attention to detail. The mounts themselves, and I love this, they come in a little tub like this, and they come with spare screws. Oh my God. Can everyone do that? How often do you lose a screw out of mounts? I've lost loads. I've lost loads. That is brilliant. You get a spare screw. Obviously you get the Allen wrench, which is rattling around in there. 
but you get a spare screw for each mount. That is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You get your flip up covers. In fact, I didn't put this rear one on. Should put that on, really. Oh, yeah, there we go. We'll put it on. Does it, uh, will it squash on? Oh, whatever. I'll do that another time. But you get pop up covers. You also get um, a push on one as well. That was the one that was on, to be fair. Let's pop that on. Pop up cover on the uh, front as well. You get a cleaner for the lenses which is a real nice touch. In fact, I'm gonna do this lens while we, uh, while I do this video. Oh yeah, you can probably see. Let's, let's just give it a buff up as well. I've been, I've been wanting to do this. Yeah, let's just get any raindrops off there. May as well. Sorry guys, hope you don't mind. There we go. Oh yeah, that's better. Can, can you see? Can you see clearly now? There we go. So you get this lens cleaner, which is absolutely brilliant included you get another allen wrench as well don't know what that's for but that was it that was under that bit you get oh, i forgot to put it on actually you get a real nice quality throw lever why didn't i not put that on i'm gonna put that on now that screws in that is a decent quality throw lever and then this is the best bit this is what really this is what really sort of blew me away, and I thought th this is just real good uh, attention to detail. A metal scope leveling kit in its separate box. How good is that? What a great, what a great, a, seriously, I, I was like, this thing is really good. I thought, if this holds out on a 308, this is going to be a test scope that will be regularly riding on different rifles now let's throw out the specs and i'll read the specs off here so this is the ed prs gen 2 5 to 25 times 56 fir first fo focal plane dash z whatever the z means magnification from uh, five times to 25 times first focal plane uh, field of view is oh i've got to read all this out oh, it's gonna get convoluted do you know what? i'm gonna hold this pause the video yeah pause the video and just read all that okay there you go you're done so yeah how did it go and when let's talk about in fact let me just show you the reticle on this one um there's a picture of the rat in here because it is a Christmas tree, the Christmas tree style ret in this scope, and it did really well. Honestly, I'm just super impressed with it. I'll throw in a picture of the rat. I can't really sort of look through the scope and sort of show you, um, but with the box, the packaging, the, all the bits and pieces you get with it, I was pretty damn impressed. And I thought, like I said, I thought if this if this does the job, I'm I'm going to be really really happy uh, with this scope. On the front of the box, it says shock resistant. Well, we know that thanks to UPS. We know it's water resistant again thanks to UPS. Okay, and what does that say? Ultra slim tunnel vision. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, nitrogen purged and the warranty's got a picture of a deer so is that like the lifetime of a deer is that how long the warranty lasts or once you've shot your first deer is then the, the warranty then void ah don't know don't know let's move the box for one side right how did it get on on the range obviously decent rifle you know didn't put a can on it i made it i made this thing sort of bounce a little bit 308 using factory ammo Tika, it's an old Tika T3 this is 308 so it's not the T3X an old Tika so it's you know it's uh it's in a obviously it's in a nice GRS stock though the, so which is cool but yeah I made it bounce a little bit 50 meters in range conditions because I wanted to give this scope the best test that I could five shot group and I did do lots of other shooting with it as well and zero in it but this is the best group i got with this scope after 
a good few rounds through it, probably about 40 rounds through it. This is how I got on. Five shot group, 50 meters, once zeroed, boom. Five shots. And yes, this scope has held it zero. It's not budged. It has bounced around for a, probably 60 shots in total. 50 or 60 shots in total. I need to, I need to count how many rounds I've used. But that was my test. I thought once I've done that, if the barrel's warm and everything, I'll give this the best test that I can. And that was at 50 meters, five shot group with a sub and I, I, I don't like to give prices but I think these are retailing at 399 these scopes are that is impressive bouncing on a 308 but testing will continue so far so good it has survived a 308 this will be dropped on numerous air rifles over the coming months and years no doubt and it will be dropped on various other it's centerfire rifles, rimfire rifles. This is a new test scope here in the Rat Cave. I am impressed. Discovery Optics. Very, very impressed. As I always say, the proof's in the pudding. You know, if it was a cheap scope, it would have rattled it on a, on a 308 without doubt, and it certainly wouldn't have held its, its zero. I mean, that that spread there, is probably probably me but it is factory ammo and it is what it is that's what happened on the day but very impressed anyway i'm going to leave it at that guys that is a quick well it probably isn't quick you know what i'm like i like to set my time with these videos but that is a review of so far it's not a concluded review so to speak this is going to be an ongoing test scope but that is a um a look at the Discovery Optics uh, PRS. They call this the PRS edition, this scope. And first test on a 308, and it's past it. And I'm liking it. Pretty decent, pretty decent. If you're after a chunky... I don't like saying budget. Budget sounds wrong. Um, a well-valued scope. Does that make sense? Oh, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. That's where I can load. See ya.